everybody, and welcome back to the Kingdom Hearts Let's Play with the next game in the lineup, uh, Chain of Memories, with me, Mayor Cardneco. <laughs> Roki You're probably asking yourself, why is Roki having a laughing fit in the background? Well, because I literally, we literally just recorded this episode, and then but I went to go- didn't hit record. An hour's worth, and I didn't hit the record button. Future Neko put up a gif of my emotional state right now. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, Future Neko, can you do like that like movie thing where it's just like take two <laughs> and action? Uh, all right, I'll do the best I can. <laughs> Our Future Neko will. I, it's all in her hands now. At this point, I'm past the point of uh, <laughs> of caring what to, type of stuff you throw into the editing. So. Just a bit of background on this game. Chain of Memories, for this version of Chain of Memories, released two years after the release of Kingdom Hearts 1. This is a very much a continuation of the first Kingdom Hearts game. While it is technically a side game, it is very important to the story, so I do suggest everybody playing it. Um, you'll also notice that we are not playing the PlayStation 2 remake version, we are playing the original GBA version. So this is the me hooking this up via the GameCube adapter, Game, GBA adapter to the GameCube and playing it this way. If you could see the amount of wires that I have hooked up just to make this game work, then you it's would know. <laughs> but let's just get started. I've got a lot of ground to cover. Deja vu, we have seen this fight before. As you can see, this was the file I literally just did. And now I have to make it go poop. Looks like nobody's home. You sure we should just barge in like this? We have to if we're gonna find the king. Oh, the king? Kin Minky's here? Maybe, maybe not. Something just told me he'd be here. That's all. Really? But now that you mention it, I was thinking the same thing. Are you serious? So was I. It's almost like we've been here before. <laughs> One look at this castle and I just knew. They're here. Well, what do you know? Great minds think alike, I guess. Guess again. This can't be mere coincidence. Why, Chimney? Don't tell me that. 
I felt it too. Gorsh, maybe it's contagious. Or maybe something funny is going on. I think we should check it out. Something funny is going on. Okay. More than just in the foreground. Hey, where are you? In the background. <laughs> hey, where are you going? To check it out. What's the matter? Scared? Don't be ridiculous. Come on, Goofy. Okay, but we should shut the door behind us. You didn't. Sora! This is what happens when you don't lock your doors, guys. Who is that? It must be a Heartless. Let's see how it handles my magic. Huh? That's odd. Thunder! Thunder! Um, fire! Blizzard? I don't get it. Why isn't my magic working? I should think it's obvious. The moment you set foot in this castle, you forgot every spell and ability you ever knew. Though the forgetting does not end there. This place, to find is to lose, and to lose is to find. That is the way of things in Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? Yes, here you will meet people you know, people you miss. What? There's no one. Riku! You mean Riku? He is here! Do you want to find him? If you do... What did you do? I sampled your memories, and from them, I made this. This is the key to reuniting with those you hold dear. Because everybody can throw and catch cards that way. What is well, gotta catch them between the index finger and the middle finger. What is this, a card? A promise. Use that card and press on. You will find your friend. Uh, yeah, you just basically you tap which card you want to go on and that's where you're going. Like this? Yes. Go, Sora, to claim to lose and claim anew, or to claim anew only to lose. Everyone likes speaking in riddles at this castle. Come on, guys, let's go. Wait, this can't be right. We're in Traverse Town. It isn't reality that you see. This town is an illusion conceived by your memories, ingrained in that card. My memories? Forget about that, Sora. We're two heads short! Donald! Goofy! Where are you guys? What did you do with them? They are at the mercy of the cards now. Mask the cards and their strength will be yours again. All right, he's just gonna give us a tutorial on how to play the game. The laws of this castle require that your friends be transformed into cards. If you value your friends, you will pick them up without fail. Or you will try to pick them up without fail. This game, it's a little like, a little hard to. They're added to the top of your deck. Use them and your friends will come to your aid. Just press the A button to use a card. Fire. Fire. I think Donald... We just did this. You can, you can physically hear the 
emotional damage that Neko has suffered. <laughs> yep. Believe in the heart of the cards. That basically is what he's saying. And your friends will be okay. Um, the only... And this whole castle ha is a card system. Uh, you have to use cards for everything. You jump. You move left and right. You fail to dodge roll. No matter how many times you press the thing. First you... First, think of yourself. Move, then use the cards. Basically, the only way you can attack is by using cards like this. Good. Every move you make causes a card to disappear. If you use up all your cards, you will be unable to act. But there is a solution. Keep using cards until you run yeah, so basically you run out of your cards, you have to stand there and focus for a little bit to, uh, to get all your cards back. And no, it doesn't work in real life, unfortunately. As much as I would love to, as I'm about to deck out in Vanguard and just think for a few moments and then have my all my cards come back before I deck out. God, that would be so broken. Games would never end if that were allowed. Well, no, there's still the alternate win conditions. If there were game like stall out games where you would could never deck out. Also, there are some games. There, there are a couple card games where if you do deck, if you do run out of cards, you just shuffle your graveyard back into your deck, and then you take one damage. Oh, I didn't know that. Because again, I've been playing Card Fight Vanguard, and once you deck out, that's it. It's game over. You lose. You deck out first, you lose. Cycling through and just let you know I'm yim. I failed to mention this before. The four types of cards, yeah, we'll, we'll go over that as we get them. We'll go over the different types of cards. Oh, select. I'm probably never going to use this mechanic, but that's where you can like collect special enemy cards and use their abilities. I guess think of it like a G-Zone. If you want to think about it in Vanguard terms. Are you two alright? Where have you been? You tell us. When you opened the door, there was a, this weird light. And the rest is a big blank. Oh, try to remember what happened. I need to keep my journal up to date. Hey, wait a second, Donald. Where'd you get the new goods? You too, Goofy. Someone's been messing with our clothes. The cards again? That is for you to ponder. Master the cards and make your way through the castle. From here on, you walk alone. You mean we can't go with him? But that's not fair. Yeah, Sora can't do anything without our help. Thanks a lot, Donald. You sure you'll be okay? Of course. I mean, so long as the person playing the game remembers they hit the right buttons. <laughs> you want me to go alone? Fine. I can take care of myself. And... Uh, Way back when this game first came out, past Neko was like, no, I can't do this by myself. I want Donald and Goofy on the field with me. Hmm. Well, that's too damn bad! Hmm. The hero speaks boldly. Go then. The rest of Castle... The rest of Castle Oblivion awaits. Walk the avenues of Latin memory, and you shall meet someone dear to you. I have a really bad feeling about this. Relax, Jiminy. I'm ready for any tricks he's got up his sleeves. How hard could it be to figure out these cards? Just try playing a new card game and ask that. All you have to do is use one in front of that door over there. Just um, try playing Yu-Gi-Oh at any time. And <laughs> oh God, I don't even want to imagine how hard of a how hard of a TCG Yu-Gi-Oh must be. It's a lot of reading. Van arguably Vanguard's a lot of reading too that a lot of players don't do. So basically we get a 
The save point is our first card that we get, but then the rest of the cards we have to earn through battle. That's something I forgot to mention. Although there is one there is one Magic the Gathering card that I absolutely love. Is it an expensive card? I don't remember. Hold on. Because I know Magic of the Gathering cards can go for high, 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 high amounts of money. Depending on what it is. Yep, it's just teaching us how to use the save point. There is a, if you press pause here, you will see that there is a quick pause. Game, you're not letting me pause. Maybe I gotta, oh. It's just, okay, it's just explaining that, uh, we can interact with items. So, I can break this barrel. Oh, you gave me a one! <laughs> That's lame. In the film recording, that gave Neko a nine. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was really happy to have that nine. So I guess that is just random number generated. What a load of crack that is. I could have said a worse word, but I'm choosing not to. Because I gotta keep some sanity. Alright. So, in Magic the Gathering, there are your land cards. It's just a picture. However... Uh, they also decided to make a full text land. Full text land? It is literally, the entire card is text on how lands work. Oh, so kind of like um, when Vanguard does those trial deck cards and they have to explain how heals and crits work. Okay. It, it, I, I'm putting this in Vanguard terms because that's the only TCG I play. Unfortunately... Magic the Gathering, and Digimon, and even Pokemon's TCG are too expensive to try to get into, and I'm kind of mad at Pokemon for getting rid of Fairy-type in the TCG. So, I'm just being, I'm just being a salty Neko for that. <laughs> but no, you got the play, you, I'm looking at the Plains full text, uh, land. This, this card's name is Plains. Basic is its super type. Land... Land is its card type, and planes is its subtype. <laughs> so basically... It, it explains literally everything. So is it like in Pokemon where you have to have energies in order to play certain moves? Yeah. Oh, okay. A card, a card could uh, cost... Uh, like, say you have a card that is three colorless, one uh, white and one red. Yeah. You tap three of any color, one white, one red, and you'd be able to play that. So, is it like in Vanguard terms where you have to pick a clan to play and you can only pick cards from that card pool? No. It's just clans work better together. Oh, uh, okay. Because, like, you can combine a lot of different uh, things. Uh, where, like, you could have, because there's five colors in magic, and you can literally use whatever you want from any color to make your deck. That's... And there are some decks that use all five colors. There are some decks that use only one color. There are some decks that use four colors. Which color is the best color in the format, then? I have to ask now. There, there, there is not, no best color. Or, like, no best combination colors. Oh, okay. Every, every color has its strengths and weaknesses, and you can really, like, build around them using either the same color or all colors. So they don't have, like, a tier zero meta or anything like that? No. Oh, they're lucky. Because Magic is inherently a slower uh, game. Okay, yeah, for Vanguard, you some depending on the deck, it is. They can either be fast-paced games or slower-paced games. But this is also a, a card game where you can just lose by decking out. I don't know. Can you deck out of Magic at the Gathering and lose? You can, but I've never seen it happen. 
I'm guessing it doesn't ha it's not a thing that happens often. Because there's not you really need to build your deck around decking out if you want to if you want to deck out. No. Because there's no like huge draw power yeah. in Magic unless you're playing specifically decks that draw a lot of cards, but then you're also playing decks that play a lot of cards. Yeah, for oh uh, well, I mean, is there a well, how do you know? Is it like you can only use 50 cards a deck? Well, that five is better than one at least. Uh, the deck limit is, or the minimum deck limit, I think, is 60. 60? Yeah, for Vanguard, yeah. you only get 50 cards in your deck. No wonder if it's a. Although, the uh, format that I've been playing the most of lately for Magic is Commander. And Commander, your minimum deck limit is 100. Wait, only a hundred? Wait, a hundred yeah. cards? Yep. <laughs> How? Why? You have, to have a minimum of one hundred cards in your deck for commander. How? Why? And and you cannot have any duplicates except for lands. Oh, so you can only run one of each, one of one of the it's same a, name. It's a singleton style. Uh, it's a singleton style uh, play style. How do you, um... But, the interesting thing about Commander is the name Commander. You have your quote-unquote deck master. That he's, your deck master starts in the Commander zone, and if you have the mana, you can play your Commander at any time. Okay. On your turn, of course. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so, I'm al I'm already a little lost. Basically, just think of it as I, I have my boss monsters that I can play at any moment. Oh god! Even if on, I have the mana. If even on your opponent's turn? No, it has to be on your turn. Oh okay. This is all con this is all confusing. <laughs> it. I'm doing, like, the best way that I can of just, like, simplifying it. No, it's okay. Because, like, there's, there's a lot of other things that can go into Commander stuff. Hey, look, I got a Shadow card. Because the big thing about Commander is how many cards you have access to. <laughs> yeah, because, um... Like there's, I said, for... Vanguard... There's almost no ban list for Commander. Oh, uh, right. Also, you gotta deal with the ban lists and learning about which... Which uh, combos are broke, too broken for the metal game to handle? There's also no like formatting quotations where it's like release sets. There's no release sets in Commander. You can use any release set. Oh, okay. Why so you have access to every card, basically. Why am I getting all these um shadow cards now? The game. I don't know. The game's taking pity on you oh for giving my. you that two instead of the nine. I hope that's the case. Or just RNG is just randomly going in my favor right now. I think, like, magic is the easiest to learn, but the hardest to master. Yeah. Um, I would say Vanguard is pretty easy to learn. Most people are able to pick it up. Oh, it does tell you how, what the slide is when you get it, and how to combo. Oh, total value yeah. of 10 to 15. Okay. I didn't know it actually did that for this version. I know in the um, PlayStation 2 version, it kind of uh, just had a screen that popped up showing you what it was, but I didn't know I could just press R yeah. and it, it would show you what the combination was. Oh, wow, well, the more you learn. Yep. Oh, one thing, one pet peeve about this game that I don't like. Well, the other chain of memories in general doesn't matter which version. You have to run around and collect your own experience points instead of just letting them build up and just naturally collect them in from uh, killing an enemy. Well, no, I like me my card games. <laughs> Fighting alone isn't as easy as I thought. Don't pop out of nowhere like that! 
It's not our fault. We don't know what's going on either. Gosh, your fighting's gotten kind of rusty. You sure you don't need us? I'm fine. Honest. Think like that, and you're as good as heartless fodder. Oh, I said it right this time. Leon, it's you! What are you doing in Castle Oblivion? Castle Oblivion? What are you talking about? This is Traverse Town. And how do you know my name? I've never seen any of you before in my life. Quit playing, Leon! We all fought the Heartless together, you know that! Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know your names. You don't? Sorry. I can't believe it. How have you forgotten about us? Hey, I feel for you, but you've got the wrong guy. Happens all the time, so don't take it personally, Sora. You do know his name! Now, hold on. Why do I know your name? Do you think Leon's just kidding around? If he is, it's not very funny. Sora's really hurt. Who's kidding around, Goofy? You and Donald are the ones who... <clears throat> what hey! Is <laughs> hmm. I don't get it. What's happened to my memory? I don't know, Leon. Maybe Aerith was onto something after all. She says she sent something uncanny, sent some un... <laughs> she said she sent some kind of uncanny power and asked us to look into it. Well, we looked, and this is as uncanny as it gets. Maybe we should bring Sora and the others to Aerith. Yuffie, you know my name. Yep, looks like you know mine too. A friend of yours? Nope, total stranger, but I definitely know his name. Strange, yes, but convenient. We can skip the introductions. Well, gee, Yuffie, I guess all our problems are solved. Anyways, I'm gonna run ahead and fill Aerith in. Leon, you give Sora and the others the grand tour. See you later. Well, let's get on with it. Follow me. Be careful, though. There are still heartless wandering around town. I'd better teach you how to protect yourself in battle. This is where he teaches you how to do slights and about the numbers on the card. Basically, if you have a lower number card than your opponent does, then your opponent's attack is gonna go through and yours is gonna get broken. But if you use a zero after your opponent attacks, it'll break every single attack every time. And this is just a demonstration of it. So none of my weak, weak ass number cards are getting through. Cause you weak. Yep, we see how it works. You gotta get them games. You gotta get the you gotta get them powerful cards. The games. You gotta make a deck, Kelvin. You gotta make a meta deck. <laughs> Playing a lower card results in your attack being deflected. Even powerful cards can be deflected if the enemy's card is higher. Um, the and then he goes over the zero value cards like I just did a while ago. You can break any attack with a zero card if you attack after the opponent does, you can break the card. If you use it first, though, your opponent's gonna break you very easily. You know what I think would be an interesting challenge on for Chain of Memories? An all-zero deck? Yeah! I don't think that's possible until you go to the second world, though. Um... Oh, okay. So I think if you get lucky enough, 
uh, you can, like, at least get it started. Yeah. The sum of your three stock parts becomes the value you play. The value is usually high and hard to break. Yep. So basically the numbers add up, and when they add up, they can add to different combinations. And then you use the card, but it once you use the card, the first card you put into that stack goes out. So basically, in Vanguard terms, it's out of game and can't be used or picked up in any way, shape, or form. It is placed in the remove from play. Oh, yes, duh. Oh my god, the remove from play. That it, there, is a, <laughs> there is a spot like that in Vanguard, too, so I should... The things I should exiled. The things that I should and shouldn't know. He's been exiled from play until the rest of the game. Yeah. To be used in the next match, to which it will be exiled again. You think you got the hang of it, Sora? Yeah, more or less. I'll pick up the rest when I fight some real battles. Please, anybody, do not go into a card card game tournament or anything. Just being like, well, I got this random deck. I guess I'm gonna figure out things as I go. Your opponents yeah, I've will. Done that before. Your opponents will not be happy with you, if it's a serious tournament. That is. If it's just practice, you can do whatever the heck you want. I found this lying around. You take it. I was about to say, I, <laughs> I can look over at the the deck that I played. First against one of my friends, and then second in a, in a tournament match. I know people who probably watched Minor or Noah's channel has heard this story before, but when I first played Vanguard, I lost the first ma first ever match I played, but then I won every other match I played afterwards. And, I mean, it was before we were using card skills and all that, but somehow I don't know how I was winning those matches. <laughs> Beginner's luck? Maybe. The heart of the cards. Yes, exactly. Alright, can I equip Simba? I think that's not what I meant to do. And I, it's funny how, like, one of my fir my second game ever playing a, a specific deck uh, that is actually incredibly difficult to play was in a tournament game that I won. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that was kind of like how I had it, too, with um, with Vanguard. I was just... The first tournament I played, I got pretty far for my first time. Although not only did I win that match, uh, I OTK'd them. <laughs> oh my gosh, how'd you do that? So, in Magic, uh, there's two different ways to kill your opponent. You can reduce their health to zero... Or you can give them enough Venom counters to instantly kill them. Venom counters, that sounds pretty uh, diabolical. Yeah, I, get, I, I hit them for uh, I hit them for 10 Venom and uh, instantly killed them. <laughs> sounds like you poisoned them. Yep. How, do, how would Toxic work in a vi in a... I almost said a video game, wow. In a card <laughs> game. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm on, but I'm on something. No, uh, <laughs> Venom, Venom monsters in Magic normally have, like, 1 to 2 power. I oh. hit them for, uh, 20. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds like you went from, like, because Vanguard is, a, is all, all their powers in thousands. Like, the high, the uh, lowest attacking unit would be attacking for 4,000. And, like, the highest unit would be attacking for 13 power upon itself. That would be like you just threw out a 33k unit. <laughs> like, on the board just because you could. That's what it sounds like to me. Well, technically yes, technically no. Um, about half that, but, uh, double strike it. Oh, gosh. So... Which means I killed them twice. At the same time. <laughs> How do you kill them twice? Because I gave them 20 Venom counters, so I hit them for 10, killed them, and then hit them for another 10, killing them again. Oh, I got a 7 card. That's gonna be a bit better, at least. Venom is fun in Magic if you <laughs> have uh, the right setup. 
and uh, my entire deck is built around having that right set up. That's like people who use lock and vanguard, where you basically force your opponent to flip their cards over and you can't attack with those cir rear guard circles, for those of you who don't know. And then, like, they can't flip them over until your turn Your turn is over. No, I'm just all about blasting people for stupid amount of damage. Roki's just like, I I'm gonna be harsh just because I feel like it. No, I'm just like, and then I started blasting. And then I pulled out my gun, and I tried, and I shot them. Eric, tell me you haven't forgotten me, too. I don't know whether to say nice to meet you or good to see you again. Feels like a little of both. I don't think I know you, but I still feel like you belong here. Yeah, exactly. Like we've never met, but it still doesn't feel weird knowing your name. But I'm telling you, we have met. We took on the Heartless together. We're a team. Feels like you're right, but I can't remember. Then guess you won't remember what you told me. In Hollow Bastion, when I sealed the keyhole, we may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. See, you do remember! He's right, Leon. I remember you saying that too. I guess I can't write it off as a coincidence, then. I don't think I have, every, have any memory of it, but somehow I still remember. Maybe Sora's heart is doing the remembering for us. How does that work? We don't know you, Sora, but your heart is full of memories of us together. Those memories must resonate in our hearts, too. Maybe they tell us things we couldn't otherwise know. So you're saying that Sora's memories are affecting ours? His memories do seem to have a certain power. Maybe it's like that guy said, then. This town is just an illusion, something my memory created. There's someone special to you in this town. How did you? Ah, I get it. My memories are resonating with yours, telling you what happened. Anyway, yeah, a friend of mine is somewhere in this town. I'm Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? What's that? There aren't any castles in Traverse Town. That's not quite what I mean. Sora probably still has his own questions, right? Right. We just got here after all. It wouldn't hurt to take a look around. Then go have a walk around town. But there are heartless. But that's not a problem for you. So you know I can fight. Yeah, it's a problem for future Nico. <laughs> I can't say I remember. But I'm starting to believe. Key to truth. But do I want to know the truth? Can I handle the truth? I don't know if I can. Mm. Won't know until you find out. I guess so. Let's go find out. Alright. Go to my apparent death, I guess. No, I can't use that. Um, oh, okay. This is a zero card here. I was gonna say... I feel like I'm fighting less enemies than I did before, too. So, my level scaling is gonna be off. I gotta take off these twos and all that. Also, well, last time, also in the film recording, we didn't really talk about much about uh, Scarlet and Violet because we hadn't talked to each other since they came out. 
Oh, yeah. Any favorites now, Roki? You cut out there for me. What? You cut out. You said, I, heard, I heard you say any fave. Oh, any favorites for you from Scarlet and Violet now? Um... Tinkaton was hilarious. Oh, Tinkaton is... But not all that good, unfortunately. Oh, it has Mawile Syndrome, I know. Yeah. That's the um, sad part about it. Meowskarada saved my ass so many times just by being fast and having a guaranteed crit flower trick. Okay, I will say this. I hated the fact that everyone was rumored that it was rumored that Meowstrata was going to be on two legs. I, I was, fell into that trap of, come on, seriously, again? Like, can't the cat just be on four legs? But Meowstrata has grown on me in terms of design. Meowstrata, Meowstrata grew on me really fast with just how fun it was to use. Mm hmm. Um. I almost called it the nickname I gave it. Oh. <laughs> uh, Cyclozar was fun, but not as good as I was hoping. Well, I mean, the, the thing that people are using it for is Shed Tail. Yeah. Which, um... Well, like, anytime that, like, I'm like, oh, hey, Cyclozar gets Shift Gear, one of my favorite setup moves, and then I try to set up and sweep with it, and it just doesn't do enough damage, and I'm like, ah, man, I'm sad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm trying out, um, I'm actually going to try to go to a Pokemon BGC late, um, in May, because I just want to try one out and see if I'd be any good, and right now, they released the, uh, what the rule set will be for it by the time I go to that tournament, and I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> like, I'm so used to playing singles battles that, like, my double battle mindset is just not there. Not existent. And then when I thought I had a good grip on it, they changed the rules on me, so I'm just like, well, I gotta learn a whole different meta all over again. Neko over here is just no thoughts, head empty. Oh no, I think of things. Like, I'm trying to make Grapparai Eye work right now. Even though everyone's probably like, like... Grapparai Eye? What? No, no Grapparai Eye. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Corrigorath? No, 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 no. The monkey. What? Graphari. The the one that like has the um that eats the auron berries and make paints with it. Oh, I <laughs> I've never heard that Pokemon name said. Oh, I that's just how I've been pronouncing it. I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce it. Well, what do you know? It's Sora! Wait a minute, what am I saying? I don't know you. But you look like a Sora, with the spiky hair and the baggy pants. Guess I just call him as I see him. It's okay, Sid. That's my name. So you've heard of me. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Anyway, maybe you can help me out. A friend of mine's supposed to be somewhere in this guy town. Your friend, huh? Lately, all this town sees is heartless. I can't even take two steps without getting attacked. This plaza's the worst. Word is we'll have a jumbo-sized heartless on our hands when that bell rings. If you value your hide, you'll get out of here while the getting's good. Maybe he's right. Don't you want to see the Heartless? No! No, we don't! Well, too late. The bell! Sora, look out! Here it comes! It's a Shadow Paladin looking unit. I don't know what it'd be in Yu Gi Oh terms. <laughs> but yeah, no, I've been using the uh, Graphari Eye because it has an interesting move called Doodle, which basically traces the Pokemon's ability, the enemy Pokemon's ability, along with um, your partner Pokemon also tracing it as well. 
So you get like double intimidates off and or you can double levitate. Which I love doing to people that try to use Earthquake and they have a levitator of their own. <laughs> That's been the most fun. It has some switcheroo, it has a uh, parting shot. It's got a lot of useful utility, but it's like, like it has a decent attack stat too and a speed stat, but the problem is, is that you're using it for so much utility, you really don't have space for a whole lot of moves. So all I can really, all I really have on it is knockoff. And then by the time I use knockoff, like the items are already kind of minute at that point. But I've been wanting to make it work. Yeah. Now the team that I used, um, I had Cerulege, I had Braviary, I had Pinkaton, Cyclozar, Meowstarada, and Floatzel. Um, what was that was my in-game team. My in-game team was Meowstarada, uh, Dash Bun. I absolutely love Dash Bun. And everyone called it that I was going to love that Pokemon. Um, <laughs> Palmont. Uh, Armor Rouge. Farigarath. And my last one, not... I didn't really have a whole lot of choices. I didn't want to use any of the previous Pokemon, so... I just used a Pokemon that I randomly got in a raid while I was playing through the story, and it ended up evolving all the way to Baxcalibur. <laughs> Which, Baxcalibur is a pretty cool Pokemon. Thermal Exchange is a pretty interesting ability. Yeah. And literally, guys, all I'm doing is just spamming the A button at this point. It was, it was, this is pretty easy. Now, I don't know if it's just because I got skill or if I was just lucky. <laughs> so your friend wasn't here? No, I don't think I'll find him in this town. But he's somewhere in this castle. I just know it. Castle? Like this whole town's inside some humongous castle? Oh, that's rich. He's probably right, Sid. We may not understand what's going on. What Sora does. He can see that reality is bigger than just this world. I wish I, I wish I was sure of that. You'll be okay, Sora. No matter what shape reality takes, you can handle it. I may never remember you, but I know you in my heart. Leon? Take care, Sora! I'm a little lost, but best of luck anyway. What's wrong? I don't have all the answers, but there's something I thought you should know. Your memories created this town, right? That's what the guy who gave me this card said. If that's true, that this town is just a figment of your mind. And so are we. But you can't be a figment. You're standing right here. This town is here too. But I'm not really me. I don't remember the things I should. And I sense things I shouldn't. Sora... Beware your memories. In the journey to come, you'll be faced with more illusions. Sometimes the shadows of your memory will deceive you, trying to lead you astray. So, what exactly does that mean? I'm just another illusion, Sora. The truth is out of my reach. Don't say stuff like that. It's depressing. No, Sora, you mustn't let illusions distract you from what's truly important. Okay. Sora! Are you ready to go? 
Yeah, I'll be right there. Well, Aerith, I'd better be going. Aerith? What about her? She's gone. I was just talking to her and now she's gone. Aerith left with Leon and the others, remember? Huh? You were standing here by yourself. We wondered what was going on. So this is what she meant. Also, um, the reason why, like, you know, it, I, I guess I'm gonna have to just hold that thought for a sec while I go in here. Yeah, you better hold that thought. I better? You better. Well, Sora, did you enjoy meeting your memories? It was good to see everyone again. But why show me an illusion? What do you want from me? That depends on what you have to give. Boo! Did I scare you? What do you want? I got bored with you hogging the hero. Perhaps you'd like to test him. Perhaps I would. Oh, you gave me a blue eyes. <laughs> this ought to be easy. <laughs> Although I prefer red eyes. Looks like it's my show now, Keyblade Master. My name's Axel. Got it memorized? Because, oh. you know, you gotta say the right words. Yes. Uh, sure. Good. You learn quick. So, Sora, now that we're on a first name basis, dinner? And a show? With a side of murder. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go dying on me. And yet again, he's contradicting himself. Hey, I never said who's murder. That is true. I'm over here cooking duck. I hope it's not Darkwing Duck. You're gonna make a lot of people angry if it's him. No. And Rookie's like, who the hell is Darkwing Duck? I've probably, I've heard of it. Just not for a long, long time. It was a show on um, the Disney Channel. Mm. That's probably where you heard of it from. Have I ever seen it myself? Nope. Probably not. I don't remember liking it as much when I was a kid, but I wonder how I feel about it now, because it's it's very well praised at this point. Oh, this is only a five. Wow, that's gonna just... Alright, use the firewall. Yep, I was ready for you with the zero. Burn, baby! <laughs> I think, does he actually? I think he does. The only bit of voice acting in this game is like, not even for cutscenes, it's like for battle stuff. For, um, like, the, probably what's going on right now, you probably hear Sora going like, Who here, ooh! Oh, right, <laughs> I'm playing this game without sound right now because it would have affected our recording too bad if I played with sound. Yeah, so, he, hua, he, ha. so while it's not affecting you guys, at all. You guys aren't going to notice. When I go back and edit this later, I'm going to be like, oh yeah, that's what, I remember what that sounds like now. Um, I forgot what I did, so I'll just do HP. <laughs> like I'm making sure she doesn't die as much. <laughs> Obtain world cards. World cards? Hmm, they look kind of like the cards that made Traverse Town. 
then we need these to go on. Correct. Give him, give our little Sora a prize. Axel! After an introduction like that, you don't think I'd just give up the ghost? So you were just testing our strength? Congratulations, Sora! You passed with flying colors. Now you're ready to take on the rest of Castle Oblivion. I can't wait to see you. <laughs> Follow your memory. Trust what you remember. You can forget. And you'll find someone very special. You mean Riku and the king? Well, I don't know. Why would I spoil that anyway? <laughs> you just gotta give it some more thought to who's most important to you. Our most precious memories lie deep in our hearts, out of reach. But you can find yours, Sora. Where? How? The light within the darkness. You've lost sight of it, Sora. You've forgotten. You've forgotten forgetting. God damn. <laughs> that that line is not fair to to voice line voice act. Look, that that line is read. not fair to me. Yeah. Light. I don't understand. Would you like a hint? Just kidding. <laughs> Will Sora? No, I want to figure it out for myself. And if you get in my way, he won't. We won't let him. That's my kind of answer. Just what I expect from the Keyblade Master. But be forewarned. When your sleeping memory is awakened, it may no longer be you. Very well. And with that, he bids you adieu. So, what I was going to say is that the um, PlayStation 2 version, while it is updated graphics and stuff, they're, um, they don't have the, um, not everything is cutscene and voice acted. Like, the parts in between, like, each world are, like within like seeing Aerith and Yuffie and all them, none of that is voice acted. It's just text boxes, even though it should be cutscenes. But um, I like them better here because in the text boxes they actually put like the face and the emotes of the characters in, so that way you can get a sense of what they're feeling. Because in the PlayStation Two version, they don't make the characters emote at all. Like they'll do like hand gestures or and stuff like that, but they won't emote on the faces, and that kind of bothers me. Well, that's just a detail I like here. But I think that's all the time we have for this episode. Let me just talk to Donald and Goofy real quick. Or oh, she think there are more like... Oh, you think there are more where Axel and that other guy came from? I wonder, Goofy. No, I didn't try to hit Donald with Keyblade. Why do you ask? If we face Axel again, you can leave him to me. All and right. my fire spells. That I forgot. Or will maybe remember now. And I'm just saving him because I'm paranoid. Even though it wasn't the save that... Alright, so hopefully... <laughs> we don't have to re-record this again. And this will be the actual first episode you guys will see on YouTube when this comes out um not sure what day of the week this will be airing well by the time it airs you'll know um we're probably gonna bulk record a few more of these before i release the episodes but again by the time it comes out you'll already know that um and it's just good to be playing kingdom hearts again oh and also because i'm very rude and forgetful right here we've got our lovely art from annex Oh yeah, we didn't do that at the start of the episode. We did. We're doing this at the end. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's so good. <laughs> yes, Annex 
continues to outdo herself. I love this art as well. And again, I always leave down in the, um, the I almost said the direction box, the description box where you can find Annex and commission art from her if you're ever interested. And also... Go do it! It's great! Huh? Go do it! It's great! Oh, it's fantastic. She's she's fantastic. A fantastic person, a fantastic artist. I could sing her praises all day. Um, but until the next episode, guys, this is Mirafard Neko. Loki Magashon. And I hope you have a good day. Hopefully Neko does. I hope so, too. Now we gotta re-explain everything that we did. We gotta re-explain all of the jokes. I know. All oh, that that emotional voice acting I just put into the game. Wasted! <laughs> There's gonna be no more emotion. There's gonna be no theatrics because Neko's dead inside. <laughs> I am very much dead inside right now. Oh my god. God! Where's the, Where's the theatrics? <laughs> I'm gonna try to bring those theatrics back. <laughs> Ahead lies something you need. But to claim it, you must lose something you hold dear. The first episode. <laughs> too soon, man. The wound is open. That's too soon, man. <laughs> yeah, this will be a blooper for the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoy my pain and suffering. Just take out one of the those top of the buildings right there and just stab me in the heart now. The, yeah, one of those screen point pointy spikes. Just take it out right now and just stab me through the heart. Shot through the heart. <laughs> You're to blame, darling. You give love a bad name.